Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here on this cool morning. Our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center on Baldwin Road and Highway 77. Their number is 767-5500. Run by sea. Principal Mike Heppenstall or any of the staff there. I know a lot of folks and a lot of teachers there. They're good people and they really uh, enjoy helping young people. So run by and see them. Right now it's cool. It's 43 here in Panama City with a wind chill of 38. Up in Mariana, 44. And it's 37 in Apalachicola and 44 over at Grayton Beach over in South Walton. High today in the high 50s, around 58 here on the coast. Low tonight. Now get this, it's going to be 33 degrees here on the coast. They're predicting 30 up and around Mariana Inland, so we will have a freeze warning uh, all throughout the area, so be aware of that. Get your plants inside and get your pets inside tonight. Water temperature is still around 71 degrees. Our boating forecast, uh, uh, it has just been blowing, folks, for weeks and weeks. It continues to blow. Seas are all, all, all the way down to three, three to five feet, so you still don't want to go out on, on, the, on the Gulf. It's just too rough. It's going to be choppy on the bays and on the lakes, so it's not a good boating day. The river readings, take a look at Apalachicola at Blunstown. It's a flat line again. We're looking at a right at one foot right there. And the Choctahatchee at Caraville is reading right now 1.1. And we do expect it to go up, and we'll have that tomorrow on exactly how high it will go up. So the rivers are moving some, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, talk more about that tomorrow. Take a look at our Carl Vernon Marine Specialties tide chart, like I was talking about all week long now. Today's the last day of November. Can you believe tomorrow we start December? And Christmas will be here before you know it. Our tides today, low tide is at 10.28 a.m. and high tide at 11.51 have a 1.5 tidal range. Good strong range, but you're looking for the weekend. We just don't have a lot of tidal flow for the weekend. So that brought to us by Carl Vernon, Marine Specialties, Docks and Seawalls and all. So every Wednesday, we'd like to talk to Captain Blair Morgan, get a live fishing report and outdoor report Brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers, my good friend since his uh, childhood, Captain Blair Morgan. Good morning, Blair. Good morning, Winston. How are you this morning? I'm doing great, buddy. What's going on down around St. Joe Bay and Apalachicola Bay? Well, uh, of course, with this cold front we got now, the trout, they're going to be moved up into St. Joe Canal, uh, up close to the intercoastal waterway. And the same way over in Apalachicola Bay, they're, they're getting up in the creeks right now real good. Uh, but... Um, the, the hot thing right now is the freshwater fishing um, up there in the creeks. Uh, they're catching a lot of crappie, crappy, speckled perch, whatever you want to call them. They got all kinds of names, but they're really catching a lot of them. I talked to one guy that had fished uh, Smith Creek last week. And he said he had 30 or 35, and they was wow. all big old slab size, big enough to play. And, uh, the creeks have really cleared out nice. All the leaves have gone off the top of them. There's been a little bit of current running out of the creeks for whatever reasons, and uh, the, the uh, fresh water fish is just real good right now. Well, that's good to hear. You know, when we're growing up over there, we always call them speckled perch, but a lot of people call them crappie or, or different species. But it, this time of year, it's excellent for that. Yeah, you know, in Lake Tapping, they were speckled perch. I guess when you get in the river, they become crappie. I that's, that's right. Same, same fish. Good taste yeah, of fish. Same fish. But uh, anyways... Uh, you know, deer gun season opened last weekend for deer season, and uh, uh, dog hunting opened and, and all that stuff. And our little crew, we, we did pretty good. We bagged three nice bucks, and there's another uh, bunch of hunts next to us. They bagged three, I think. And so it's hot. The weather conditions just weren't good at all. You know, it was real hot and windy. But we're seeing a lot of pretty nice bucks this year. Well, that's Last good. year we saw we were seeing a lot of spikes. Of course, this year those spikes have you know become six, four and six more. So, well, that's good to hear, Blair. Good to get a good report from on, on the deer hunters over that way. So y'all had a good good Saturday, huh? Good yeah, weekend. we had a good weekend. And uh, I tell you okay. something else. I, I said it one report before, but turkeys. We're seeing turkeys everywhere we go, and they're young turkeys. So uh, this is going to be a great spring turkey hunting coming up. Evidently, we had a real good hatch on turkeys last year. All right, bud. That sounds good. All right. You have, have a good, good weekend. One. We'll be talking to you later. Okay. All right. Blair Morgan there, brought to us by Blue Water Outrigger. Take our first break and be right back. 
Your vision is precious. If an emergency arises, you don't want to be sitting in a hospital waiting room. Accidents and injuries can happen outside of your workday. That's why our team of physicians provide emergency eye care to our patients anytime, day or night. You can count on your local experts in eye care to be there for you whenever you need us. The Eye Center of North Florida. Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC is Panama City's exclusive full-line dealership. Built on a 45-year foundation of trust and total customer satisfaction in all departments. Including our huge pre-owned department, where we'll pay top dollar for your current automobile as a trade-in. Or we'll place your vehicle on our lot and help you sell it. At Bill Kramer's Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. Four decades, three generations, one tradition. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team just in time for the holidays. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of color and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our site and click shop to bring in the holiday season. Be a member of the Panhandle Outdoors team, Florida's only live daily outdoor show. Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team just in time for the holidays. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of color and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our site and click shop to bring in the holiday season. Be a member of the Panhandle Outdoors team, Florida's only live daily outdoor show. Welcome back. We have some guests in the studio, so I'm going to do a short segment here by myself. We're going to come back with our special guest. You're going to enjoy these ladies. But uh, first of all, let me read an email from last night talking about public shooting areas. He said, hey, coach, we need a little help in getting a public shooting range. Uh, Mr. Sabo and the Forest Service has tried to build one at Pine Log but cannot get support. I understand it is in the, in the making to combine the Gulf Coast range and a public range with another one at Pine Log. So they have one up just a public shooting area. They have one in Walcott and Leon County around the forest where people just go out there and it's set aside just for public shooting. So what we'd like to do is said the Federal Forest Service uh, is, is will do it if we can get enough support. Uh, it's a rifle and shotgun and pistol range and thank you for all your help. It would be great from Wallace Powell. So Wallace, we'll, we'll talk with FWC and any of y'all that have any uh, desires for that kind of stuff, let us know and we'll just try to point everybody in the right direction. That's one of these win-win situations and get, get outdoors and uh, shoot your uh, weapon and, and have a safe place to do it. So thank you for the email and we appreciate the uh, support uh, from all of y'all that will call us or email us. Now let's look at this quick picture here. This is Jimmy Carter with a nice buck up there. Uh, he really, that's a, a nice eight point. Jimmy got that up in uh, on Adel, Georgia. He really enjoyed showing it off according to his wife Lori. She said he really the most fun he had was showing to his granddaughter Lexi, so that was a good job there. Don't forget now, this Friday, you know, every Friday we do the Tarpon Dock Seafood Giveaway, and Maria emailed me the uh, night before last, and this Friday we're giving away two, two prizes. The first one will be a red snapper, okay, a big old red snapper, and the second one's going to be a dozen bacon-wrapped stuffed shrimp. Now, I'm going to try to enter that, but I probably, uh, not really, I can't do it, but that would be a great uh, prize for the weekend. So all you have to do is, you know, email us. You know my email address. I have it here somewhere. We'll sh I'll show it to you when we come back. It's right here, Jeff. We'll, but when we come back, we'll, we'll show you uh, my email address and, and how to enter. And we're going to start a new contest in 2012. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. You're going to be really uh, amazed at what we're going to be giving away in January. You're going to be shocked, okay? We'll take our next break and come back with our special guest. When you stop by Blue Water Outriggers, you will find everything for your outdoor adventure. Stock up on all your favorite brands and shop for some of the latest outdoor gear and accessories. You can also shop online and have your orders delivered straight to your home. Our flagship store is nestled right off of Highway 98 in the Port City Shopping Center, just steps away from the Port St. John Marina. You will love our selection, our prices, and our friendly service. 
Crystal Grill, located in the heart of beautiful Port St. Joe, was established in 2002 by Patty and Dewey Blaylock as a family-owned coastal restaurant. In Port St. Joe, we meet at Sunset. Sunset's open for lunch and dinner every day of the week. Fresh seafood's brought in daily and served in a variety of traditional and creative ways. Try our award-winning gumbos. Steaks are grilled simple and perfect over an open flame grill. Our homemade soups, sauces, and salad dressings are so popular, we sell them retail. And don't forget, see the sunset at Sunset. When you're looking for sales, parts, and service for your outboard, all in one location, you're looking for BJ's Marine. You're authorized to Hatsu and Nissan dealer. BJ's Marine does it all. They have outboard parts and a service center and used motor sales too. To Hatsu, reliable, dependable, fuel efficient, and lightweight. To Hatsu Outboards, technology for the next generation. BJ's Marine, 1317 Transmitter Road since 1991. Captain's Cove Marina, designed with fishermen in mind. Easy access to the best fishing along Florida's forgotten coast. Deep sea fishing, fly fishing from a kayak, cruising endless miles of bayous, bays, and the intercoastal waterway. Count on the captain's crew to work hard to make your day on the water the best ever. Captain's Cove Marina, 1617 Grouper Avenue, Port St. Joe, 850-227-3357. Welcome back. These are two special guests. I'm going to introduce them. This Lynette Chester, good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I was kidding her. She's my niece-in-law. But uh, And Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay. Tell them where you're from. From Bristol. All right. Kelly Ramsey, where are you from? From Bluntstown. All right. Right across the river from each other. We're just glad to have them. And, and these are some outdoor ladies. And we're going to, first of all, establish the fact they are outdoors. So we're going to talk about, uh, y'all brought us some pictures. And Lynette, we're going to go through yours first real okay. quick. So tell us uh, real quick on the screen, who do we have here? We have my little boy, Dylan Chester. He's four. And my little girl, Sarah Kate Chester. And she's seven. All right. Nice buck there. <laughs> and then this is a good one. Yes. That's Dylan with his daddy, Matthew. And they are enjoying uh, talking on the CB radio uh, while they're dog running. They're dog running. That, <laughs> yep. That's good right they're listening there. listening for those dogs. <laughs> and uh, Matthew is, of course, my, my nephew. And he, he's quite an outdoors and always has been <laughs> since he was that age okay one or two more real quick to show us this one here this is a uh, hey, turkey hunting yes he really enjoys turkey hunting and the, uh, you should hear them all when they start practicing uh, all the kids uh, they uh, compete to see who sounds the best <laughs> and then of course this and is there's Dylan, Dylan and we're yeah. going to talk about these outdoor clothes too okay Kelly I'm going to uh, I'm going to show this this buck right here, Kelly, you you actually you hunt a lot. Tell us about this one. Well, this this is my first and only deer so far. Okay, that's a nice one. Uh, uh, and I see you you have it mounted right here. You have it in your, on your wall at home. Yes, we do, of course. And where'd y'all where'd y'all get that? That was in Bluntstown. In Bluntstown. That's a nice buck there. And of course, you're. I, I go one more vertical. This is your husband. Tell us about your husband, what this, he does. This is my husband, Chad. We own the Piggly Wiggly in Bluntstown and Bristol. Okay. And this is my son, Carson, and this was his first deer. <laughs> and he was very proud. <laughs> so you, can see, you can see the lifestyle. These ladies, okay, well, one more picture. This is uh, your whole family. The, these are all three of my children. That's Carson, Chandler, and Allie Claire, and that was my first hog. Your first <laughs> hog. Good job. And where do those, where do those girls get that red hair from? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, we got them. Uh, you had about an hour drive this morning coming yes. down? Yes. You all used to getting up this early? Not quite this early. <laughs> Unless you're hunting or fishing and all. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to tell the folks uh, really what, okay, you understand the outdoor ladies and all, and also Lynette, I'm going to tell you about Lynette. She does my website on Panhandle Outdoors. If you ever go to my website, Lynette has done it. Uh, t tell us what, what, what kind of work you do, basically. Well, I'm actually a project manager over in Tallahassee, but on the side, I do like to work on websites, and uh, he gave me my first challenge by uh, doing my first one, and I said, sure, and then Chad had me do one for the Piggly Wiggly, and then it's just kind of gone from there. So. Well, see, and it's great, and uh, <laughs> you've done an outstanding job with it. And, Thank you. And uh, especially we added a shop to it. That was yes. A, that was a, <laughs> a chore and all. And I was looking the other day, we've had almost 30,000 hits on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Almost 30,000 hits, so yeah. you've done good. Thank you. Now, uh, do, do you, uh, you still sort of going to school and, and before time mom? And, I am, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, I know, uh, I, knew, I knew their husbands before they knew them. I watched those boys grow up and play baseball <laughs> and all. And, 
And uh, he was originally from outside of Tuscaloosa. I am, yes, sir. And uh, met your husband in college playing baseball? And I did. Okay. Yes. And you were a cheerleader at Liberty County High School? I was, yes. <laughs> and you was captain of the football yeah. team. And, uh, yeah. You know, high school sweethearts. High school sweethearts. <laughs> and so I've right. known, known these young people a long time. So anyway, <laughs> what we're doing, they came down and they're, they're doing a little project, uh, a little outdoor project. <laughs> and I, I was fascinated with it. And they came down Sunday with their husbands and set up this area, went down and, and visited with them Sunday. Mm -hmm. So tell us basically what we're doing uh, uh, next couple of days around this okay. area, okay? We're doing a one week uh, kids consignment event. Um, we're excited to bring you um, some great products that range from camouflage hunting items to just uh, baby's first Christmas items. Um, it's just a, a kids consignment event, like we said, it's at Panastics uh, Gymnastics and Tumbling Center um, off of 13th. And um, it's a fundraiser for them as well. They need some new equipment. So even if you don't have little ones that you can't come shop for some good uh, clothes for, you can come out and have lunch with us. They're going to have hot dogs and nachos and coffee. So come see us and uh, maybe do a little shopping too. Well, this is uh, the, the prices on this. I was looking through yeah. some of this stuff. We, I want to go through some of this. This is amazing, okay. some of this. So tell us. Okay. This won't, uh, so we have some that. Oshkosh overalls, and these are cute. Um, these actually have some tags on the inside, and they're $4. Um, we have some Carhartts, which are good in the woods, as you guys know, for briars. Uh, these are four dollars as well, and these are new. Uh, those are, I mean, that's new stuff. And this yeah. is, you know, kids they walk anywhere in the woods. Yes, y'all right? know that. <laughs> yes. And so you, they you do. want to protect them. So, so these work out well for that. We have this hat that still has uh, new tags on it. Um, it was, it was too small. It's a size small, so <laughs> if it will fit you, it's a brand new hat, and it's five dollars. Five dollars. I was going to buy it, but my big head won't fit. <laughs> I was going to buy it. I want to let them bring it on air. Oh. That's a, that's a red head hat folks and that is a uh, excellent I like these you know these vents right here yeah, so need, yeah. Need hot my husband likes those five too. dollars and this is a cute little diaper bag for the little ones it says daddy's baby it's really <laughs> cute some yeah. of them say daddy's dear as well let me show uh, okay. you um, one of these we have lots of camouflage pants I really like this daddy's little hunter this one's cute daddy's and does the hat say the hat matches that too and this is it six dollars and it's 2t and has a hat. Yeah. That's amazing. So lots of good camouflage um, we'll have there and other things as well. So even if you have a, a little girl who might not want to wear camouflage, <laughs> come on out. We have lots of beautiful dresses um, as well, but we yeah. wanted to bring the camouflage today to well, show Well, we, we were looking at, yeah, we, we just uh, caught this outdoor show, so we geared a lot <laughs> of this towards that, but uh, we were Sunday afternoon, we were helping y'all set up and y'all had some really pretty little dresses yeah. and stuff like that. So. Uh, this is all going to be go, go to a good cause and all that mm -hmm. to help monastics out, and also a, a great a great opportunity for you to help some other folks. Even if you know if you don't have a family mm -hmm. or something here in town, there's always there's always some needy families around, mm -hmm. and we all know needy families. And you may find out what size they wear, and then go down there, and you have little girls and little boys stuff. That's right. Oh, right. Um, up to size 14. Okay. So up to size 14 for girls and for boys, we actually go up to a men's large. So, oh, good. Yeah, we have lots of men's large shirts, actually. So, so, and come so on you, have, you have different people bringing in different stuff. On. That's right. So it's a consignment event. So anyone could go onto our website, and it's oneweekkidsconsignment.com. They clicked log in. They signed up with us, and uh, and just there's a system. They go and enter their items, print these tags. Um, they pinned them to their items, and they brought them in. And so whenever we check out the item, we'll scan the barcode, and we'll know who to pay for their item. So, that is, a, that yeah. is a neat idea, and it, mm -hmm. it's one of those win-win situations. You can really get some really quality, almost brand new stuff for a, a price that you can't touch anywhere else. And then also you can uh, you give it some people or, or use them you know, at, at, a, at a time when, when people really need this kind of stuff. So, Okay, so look, we're going to take our final break and come mm -hmm. back with, a, with our fishing forecast time for today and, and visit some more with uh, Kelly and Lynette. <laughs> On the water or under the water. Success at C&G Sporting Goods. C&G specializes in fresh and saltwater fishing tackle, floundering supplies, spare fishing equipment, and much, much more. C&G also has licenses, maps, and expert advice on where to go. For over 59 years, C&G Sporting Goods has been the headquarters for the outdoors man. Fishing, hunting, camping, guns, and ammo. They've got it all. C&G, home of the experts, downtown Panama City. You see the chores and ask, how can I do this? 
At Kubota, we see the utility vehicle and say, this is how you do it. With a smooth running diesel engine, a durable hydrostatic transmission, power steering, and four-wheel drive, you'll never look at a utility vehicle the same way again. The Kubota RTV 900 utility vehicle. You gotta see this for yourself. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. The greatest investment we can all make is in the lives of our children and grandchildren. To help you invest for retirement, handle your IRA rollover, protect your family with life or long-term care insurance, call my dad for an appointment at his new office on Wilson Avenue behind Lowe's. And he'll give you a copy of his most recent book, Seven Steps to Serious Money. For free! Walter Wedrick, your serious money advisor! Come join the Panhandle Outdoors team just in time for the holidays. Beat the rush and stock up on our team shirts and hats in a wide variety of color and sizes. For your convenience, we offer a Panhandle Outdoors shop at panhandleoutdoors.net. Simply visit our site and click shop to bring in the holiday season. Be a member of the Panhandle Outdoors team, Florida's only live daily outdoor show. Okay, welcome back. My special guests, Lynette Chester and Kelly Ramsey. Lynette from Bristol and Kelly from Bluntstown. Drove all the way down this morning and got up early. We uh, appreciate y'all doing that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, look, let's get our look at our express lane fishing game forecast for today before we go any further. Our times, we're looking at our time this morning at 4.11 to 6.11 a.m., excellent time. And this afternoon, looking at 4.27 to 6.27 this afternoon. So it'll be an excellent time when you get home from work to go out in the woods and shoot some squirrels or either uh, go fish off the dock. All right? We were talking about y'all are, y'all are, both of your husbands are really big outdoorsmen. I know they have, as are a lot of husbands that watch the show, uh, as a wife and a mother, seriously, we joke a lot, but what, what's y'all's biggest challenge being a wife of an outdoorsman that loves the outdoors as much as those boys do? What's your biggest challenge? Kelly? <laughs> as Lynette said earlier, it's balance. It's yeah, keep, finding, keep yeah, everything balanced. the balance yeah. between uh, everything. That's a good answer. Y'all yeah. remember that. <laughs> what, what, what are some of y'all's favorite places to to, uh, to to go to go fishing? I love fishing on Apalachicola River. I grew up fishing there with my dad um, from Chattahoochee, and then uh, Matthew likes to fish as well. So um, actually, uh, whenever I was due with Sarah Kate, I was so frustrated because the doctor said no, it's still going to be a while, and and I said and he felt so bad for me. So leaving Tallahassee, we went to Walmart, bought new fishing poles, everything, and he took me fishing. And then I went into labor that night. <laughs> well, that's what so, I did. Huh? <laughs> that's what did it, I guess, being on the boat. But yeah, so I enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Uh, yeah. Kat, what's your favorite outdoor activity? Hunting and fishing. <laughs> Hunting and fishing. Yes. Okay. Do y'all have some lease land up there? Y'all go around? We do. Okay. Yes. All right, we're going, you know, this consignment, I want you to go by and see these ladies. Y'all going to be there? How many days y'all going to be there? We're going to be there through Saturday. You start Ten today? to seven. Ten to seven. Let's start today. Okay. Yep. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Ten to seven. And we're going to, yep. I just sketched out a map. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, it, let's see. Let's see if it's going to show up. It, I just sketch this out. This is 15th Street. Okay, this is 15th Street down here. Y'all know where 15th Street, okay? And then this is Balboa, and this is Florida, and then up top is 11th Street, okay? And now, in the middle is 13th Street. This is the Panastics Gymnastics area. There's a building right there. A lot of y'all have been to it. North Bay Haven School is on the corner of 11th and Balboa, so you sort of know the area. So they're going to be all set up inside the gymnastics area off Florida Avenue between 15th Street and 11th Street. And I just want to show you the location and, and you won't, like I say, be there these next three or four days. And, That's right. And then come yeah. out and have lunch. And uh, those are yeah. good folks down at Panastics, aren't they? Oh, they're so yeah. nice. She, um, Patty at Panastics has gone out of her way to make um, us feel very welcome. Um, she's she's moved things around for us. She's cleared the floor. She's she's just excellent. I mean, yeah. So this is, you know, I hope people come out. I hope they sign up to take her gymnastics classes. I hope. 
that you guys come out and have some coffee with us and yep. help support them. Uh, we're going to have a bounce house there and bring your kids. Um, some people try to find daycare or whatever where they can come shop. Bring your kids, let them bounce in the bounce house and give a uh, donation to Panastics for that and they'll be busy while you shop. We are. Uh Y'all used to kids running around, aren't you? Yes, we're, no problem. <laughs> we were there Sunday afternoon, sort of helping them start to set up. And I looked around one time, I think I counted seven or eight kids running around. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, from the balance beam and running over the chase, playing tag and everything. Right. So, and uh, y'all were oblivious to all that. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. fine. No, no. No, nobody crying, nobody's hurt, <laughs> nobody, it's fine. Nobody hurt. That's uh, right. When you, uh, Renee, we talked about this before, though, on, on the mm -hmm. website and all. And I, I, you probably don't. Uh, I don't know. Are you doing this website for a lot of other people too, or are you are you getting into this or? Not a lot, sure. I'd love to get it, okay. especially around Christmas. I could use a little extra Christmas oh, okay. cash. But yeah, if you're interested in a website, feel free to email me, um, okay. Lynette C at yahoo.com. That's L A N E T C Lynette at yahoo.com. Okay. Sure. Okay. Now, <laughs> you, uh, who's going to babysit this weekend? Oh, daddy duty. <laughs> yeah. so Y'all did it during Thanksgiving. So That's right. Season, so it's their turn. Right. That's uh, right. That's the balance we're talking about. That's the balance. balance. <laughs> it's our turn. Well, folks, I want you to go by and see these young ladies. Uh, you mm -hmm. just go by and visit with them and go by and talk with them and all. But yeah. really, these bargains, uh, that that's a really a, a good deal and a good chance. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I close the show every day and say, you know, do something good for somebody. And we always mean that. It's a great mm -hmm. opportunity to you know, go by and get some children's clothes and maybe you have someone down the street or in, in, in the neighborhood close by who may need something mm -hmm. like this. So it's a great opportunity to do that. Or, or uh, you know, if nothing else, just go by and visit with them. So uh, have y'all got your Christmas shopping done? I did a lot. I did some Black Friday shopping, but I'm not Black done. Friday. <laughs> yes. did Black Friday. Did you did. do Black Friday? I, I did a little, but I'm not <laughs> anywhere near done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a good start. All right. <laughs> well, folks, we're going to wrap up the show tomorrow now. We've got a great show lined up. We've got a good video you're going to enjoy tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, we're going to have some great information on something we're doing in January. Just going to, you'll be so excited about. Ladies, thank you all for coming thank up. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> thank you all for watching the show. You know, like always, do something good for someone today and make it outdoors part of your life. And God bless. For joining us for Panhandle on Tours with Winston Chester. Panhandle on Tours features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle on Tours.